Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the nearby nation, welcome to Infamous. Yes, this is Infamous, the game for the PS3 that was so highly, I don't know, put out there. I guess like on the box it says 9 out of 10 and 10 out of 10 and all kinds of stuff like that. But basically, um, I wanted to play through this because I played a little bit of Prototype and I didn't really like it. And at the time, this was a competitive uh, game against Prototype, except for this was a exclusive to Infamous, or to uh, PS3, and uh, Prototype was for both consoles. So this one should be fun because I love exclusive titles because they put a lot more work into it. So let's go ahead and get started with this. I've actually recorded two and a half hours of this that I didn't record, so I'm actually getting better at controls than uh, I was early. You guys are good. I had two and a half hours of practice for this game. Oh, look at that. It's so powerful. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that me? No way. No, just kidding. Uh, there is a little bit of... plus six minutes. Really? Pulse is 45. Respiration 10. Really? Looking good, Cole. Like I said, I have played through a two and a half hours of this the game. Hell happened? Before I realized that I wasn't recording it, so... I do know a little bit of the storyline. Oh I love this. This reminds me of the Halo introduction. As you notice, I've actually put subtitles on just for you guys. Did I invert that, really? Yeah, I totally inverted my looks. Err, options. No. We don't want inverted. Horrible inverted. So yeah. That reminds me a little bit of the Halo starting point, where if you don't remember, like all of a sudden you get trapped in this thing. It's basically a huge tutorial at the beginning, but then like the Covenant are uh, attacking. Cool, man, you there? Come on, man, pick up! See? What the hell's going on? I think there was an explosion. No shit there was an explosion! The TV says terrorists are pulling stuff up all over the city. Meet me at the Fremont Bridge. We'll get Trish and find some place to hug her. Ah. What the hell? Should be dead. This game for me has a lot of similarities to Spider-Man. Now you might be like, why? Why Spider-Man? Well, ooh, ooh, ooh. the reason being is you're you're basically traveling the city. I mean, a lot of games have that, Grand Theft Auto, but this one actually has the superpower. Actually, it kind of reminds me of uh, what was that game where you were cops back on the Xbox 360? Uh, I don't even remember what the game is. You're like super bad cops and all kinds of stuff. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, over here, maybe? Oh shoot! You guys, if you guys know the name, let me know in the comment section below of what the game I was talking about is, because you probably do, and I'm probably sitting here in the back of my mind going, what? What am I talking about? I'm trying not to interrupt the uh, awesome cutscenes. Whoa! I want those powers. Uh oh, uh oh. Let's just go. Let's get out of here. Come on, move it! I'm not meaning to kill anyone, I promise, but I do think I'm gonna go evil this first play. You know there's a good versus evil play on, and I really just like killing people. It's going! What? I died already? That's so cheap. I have died a lot in this game already, I would admit that. 
Quirky helped me out a little bit. She was with me on the first recording that wasn't a recording, and she said, people die a lot in this game. I'm gonna try to believe her there. While sliding into unconsciousness, I can somehow, I don't know, hear the voices of the dying. Thousands crushed by falling buildings or burned alive in the fires. Trish lost her sister, almost lost me. Zeke was always there, somehow sure that I'd wake up while outside the city fell apart. A plague struck, followed by rioting, theft, rapes, civilization committing suicide. In a bullshit attempt to contain the biological threat, the federal government locked down all access in and out of the city, and we're stuck in this cage with the psychos. Cops are all but gone off the streets, either dead or too chicken shit to stand against the gangs that control things now. Outside, things were bad. But inside, inside me, something was beginning. Scary as hell at first. You gotta understand, there was no one to talk to, no experts to consult. But with time, I'm learning to control it, master it. Just hope it's not too late. Come on, Cole. It's not too late. You got this. Rooftop fun. 14 days after. So the 13 days I must have been powering all my, my body and figuring out why electricity is blowing through my veins. Flowing or blowing? Same thing. Not really. Not really at all. I thought you were going to watch TV. Uh, batteries are dead again. Uh, you mind putting on a freak show? Sure. Glad it's good for something. Probably need to charge them all. TV's a hog. Probably need to charge them all. TV's a hog. So, uh, here I just go around and Woo, zap up some batteries. About. There's one over here. I was horrible at the controls of this game when we first started playing. So, I'm kind of glad that I redid this recording. Boot tubes are working. Weird. Because I look like I was it feels like totally... I got more power. Yeah? Shut Try up. Try frying those dummies over there. With all the nutballs running around, it'd be nice to see how much juice you're packing. Yeah! Lay into it, man. Pro There's sucker. your dummies frying, okay? Yeah. Happy? How many more do I need to hit? All of them? Done? You good? Can I go now? I love how you can fry Zeke, and he won't do anything. How many more do you want me to hit? That one? I think I got them all. Wait, no, that one? There, all their heads are gone. You see that? Flying so low, thought it was gonna crash into us. No, I missed it because I was frying heads of dummies. Hey, it's a TV jacker. I love this guy. Just got word that the feds dropped some relief packages into Archer Square. The liars will do the corporate media tell us that we're gonna get our fair share, that more is coming. <laughs> That's easy for them to say. They're not the ones living in this hellhole. And the truth is that we've been abandoned and no one's coming to save us. So head over to Archer Square and get that food before the Reapers show up. Voice of survival, out. Told you they dropped food. Man, you must be out of your mind. Think any of those pencil necks gives a crap about us? This is a PR stunt. That isn't gonna stop you from digging out, though, is it? <laughs> Hell no, it ain't. Zeke's gotta eat. You take the stairs. I'm using the express elevator. Oh, man, get to have all the fun. Now, here's my thing about the controls of this character, Cole. It feels like you're a football star. Cause look, look how he runs. Like he runs like he's what playing are you football. For? It's really weird. Ah! Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Whoo! Oh, that was one hell of a jump, man. Wish I could do something like that. Running down all those stairs. Ah, that sucks donkey balls. Donkey balls. Hey, Cole. Before we head over to Archer, I need to go pick up a new six-shooter. Oh, here we go. Ah, that was badass. The second you touch it, the electricity in your hands cooks off the gunpowder, and the whole thing goes kabam! <laughs> Look on your face was priceless. Damn near blew my hand off. 
which is why you won't be touching the new one. <laughs> Traded this guy one of my homemade batteries for it. The ones that explode when you use them? Hell, he doesn't know that. Come on! Told me he was gonna leave the gun in the parking lot a few blocks from here. Hey, Cole. You know what I miss? Pizza. Big, sloppy slice. Dripping with grease and pepperoni. And payday. Having a big fat wad. Bills in your pocket. Yeah, I'd settle for some hot water. Hey, remember that time we were coming home from Duffy's? And I had to take a leak? And that bike cop was yelling at me to put up my hands? <laughs> you pissed all over him. Hey, he told me to put up my hands. While he's fumbling around, I jump back in and we take off. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, awesome. Until we run into a wall of cops. Like I said, awesome! <laughs> ah, bummer we won't be able to do anything like that again. Yeah, not unless some genius invents a car that doesn't explode when I sit in it. <laughs> Jeez, Zeke, where are you going, buddy? Wow. Alright, here we go. It's under this first one. He told me he was gonna leave it under a car. I figured there'd be only one. We'll never find it. Stand back. I got an idea. <laughs> there it is. Hellacious! Hell, I didn't know you could do something like that. Yeah, me either. Neither. There was the surge. Hey, man, you don't look so hot. Trained all of a sudden. Hang on a sec. Did you see that? Man, you're a walking battery. You must have to recharge whenever you fire off a bunch of juice. I can feel the electricity surging through me. Almost like I'm being healed by it. <laughs> oh, this rock's so hard. Come on, let's haul tail over to Archer Square before someone takes all the brewskis. Cole, you there? Hey, babe. You hear they dropped some food? Yeah, Zeke and me are heading over there. How are you feeling? All right, I guess. Powers are all over the place. It used to be I could barely power a light bulb. Now I'm jumping off of buildings, frying the junk on Zeke's roof. You jumped off a building. What were you thinking? Relax. I'm fine. Just take it easy. After what happened to Amy, I, I couldn't... Yeah. See you guys at Archer Square. I love you. You too. Hey, you're supposed to say I love you too, Cole. Come on. Get the names right. I love you too. I found that this first part had a lot of commentary from the uh, characters, which is really cool for a game to have that much commentary. But then again, for a commentaryist like me, yeah, totally not the right word, but still, we're going to go with it. Uh, it's kind of hard because I'm sitting here like, I want to talk to you guys, but then again, I want you guys to hear the story, so Woo! I'm trying to shut up. Boy, like stuck now. up there. I hate to say it, pal, but... Uh... Hey, you're the only guy here who'd live from a fall like that. You gotta climb up there and knock that stuff free. That's all he cares about is food. Chubby kid. Ah, uh, we're just gonna jump up these ledges. Does that feel like... This is what reminds me of Spider-Man. Being able to, like, crawl everywhere. Not a normal human being type of thing. Whoa, really? How did I fail that out? Get up there. Come on. This is not a hard thing to do. I'm actually pretty good at the parkour in this game. Or at least the running and jumping aspect of it. And then... Yeah! Ooh, yeah. We are eating. You're welcome. Damn. Too late. That's when I caught my first sight. The Reapers. Before the blast, they were just a bunch of junkies dealing drugs. Now, they own the Neon District. Taking whatever they want. That changes today. Yeah, this is my district now. Back the hell off. Woohoo! 
more of these guys are around here somewhere. 